the inspiration, thank you. You folks inspire me. The fact that you get fired up, that because if nobody supported me, nobody gave a shit. If I had six people on my Patreon and you know four people watching, I mean, this would have ended a long time ago. So, thank you. Um, and Three Days of the Condor is a great movie. Let's talk a little bit about some. That movie was starring Robert Redford, and he's just a CIA analyst, and he comes across some information. It's great. Here's some great movies in the '70s to watch especially the younger viewers, but if you haven't watched these next movies, watch them. Three Days of the Condor. Watch um, Network. Sidney Lumet directed Network. It's written by Patty Chayefsky, who's an amazing writer, playwright, TV writer, amazing. Network has some funny, ridiculous moments in it. It seemed ridiculous at the time in the 70s. It is the most prescient movie. It predicts our entire media, reality TV, it is unbelievable. Ned Beatty's in it. I mean, it's just this all-star cast. And so watch Network. It's unbelievable. Um, another movie I would watch is Rollerball. The 70s version, not that crappy one in the 90s. The 70s version with James Caan, because that shows how the, the planet... It's a future where there's not company, there's not uh, countries anymore. It's corporations. And sports are just for corporations and there's no more wars fought. It's just corporate. It's, it's, <laughs> man, this is why the corporations came in and bought up Hollywood because they couldn't let movies like this get made anymore. Um, watch Three Days of the Condor. Watch, um, uh, yeah, Rollerball and Network. Those movies are, they predict some shit that's just nuts. Um, Three Days of Condor is also great because Max von Sydow plays this like creepy dude and he's great. Um, I would also watch Well, Deer Hunter is an amazing, it's an, it's an anti-war movie, no doubt about it. It's an anti-Vietnam movie. Um, and I, so I, grew up watch, I grew up in the like anti-war era of the 70s where you watch movies like Deer Hunter and I mean, even Apocalypse Now is an anti-war movie. Um, the scene in the end of Apocalypse Now where they all throw down their guns, that was Francis Ford Coppola's like wish or dream is that we would no more war. Um, Deer Hunter is really shows the like what the soldier goes through. Um, and yeah, D Deer Hunter is really good. Um, I would also, yeah, those are the movies that come to my mind. Not, but yeah, Three Days of Condors. Fucking, I just watched that a couple months ago. God, that's a good movie. It's a good like spy thriller it's good it's good yeah those are the movies that popped in my head right now thanks for supporting the show um hey everybody like share and subscribe hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.